today, we're building a Minecraft civilization for my tiny turtle, Harry. He will face extreme climates, an ocean current, and so much more. Soon, he'll face five levels of Minecraft, and if he makes it to the end, he'll get his favorite snacks. But before I show you Harry's insane Minecraft civilization, we're starting at level zero with this super basic turtle biome. Each day, I weigh Harry and give him a food bath. This helps keep his tank sparkling clean. But today, he's getting a Minecraft makeover. Harry is super smart. I've seen him complete mazes and even defeat Super Mario World. So if anyone can defeat Minecraft, it's that guy. But you're gonna need a lot of Lego. This is going to be extremely challenging. And I have a challenge for you. Can you spot these characters hidden somewhere in this video? And I'm giving away this and this. So stick around. Starting with the plains. One of the most common biomes in the game. Picture the Great Plains of America, but shrunken down and pixelated. These are custom grass blocks. We have a small problem. This just looks like a lame field of grass. So I built this Minecraft barn, but it's kind of empty. What about some farm animals? Oh no, somebody left the gate open. Steve, don't run with scissors. And what about a few crops and a sunflower field? And of course, a tree. Check out this beehive. Wait, Steve, yeah, don't wow. touch that. <laughs> Harry actually already has a home, his shell. But we're gonna add a village and a few friendly mobs to greet him. And a letterbox for Harry's fan mail. He has everything he needs for a proper farm day. Now, all we have to do is connect level one to level two. Whoa, is that a portal? What on earth? Minecraft IRL is actually so beautiful. Let's check out the water. Hey, come back here. <gasps> it's freezing. Let's take some water samples so we can check them out back at the studio. Well, that was weird, but not as weird as this corner of Minecraft. We're diving into the ocean. And since your favorite biome is the warm ocean and the deep ocean, we're gonna build both. We have a problem. I just ran out of coral colored Lego bricks. And after an hour of searching, I couldn't find anything. So I called in air support. Now we're talking. Is it just me or does this place feel a little bit empty? What about a pufferfish, squid, turtle, angry pufferfish, and some seagrass? Don't worry, Harry, we won't let them in. But as we go deeper into the ocean, we pass shipwrecks and uncover hidden ruins and even this ocean monument, protected by our guardian and his metal detector. And we're also creating a real flowing water current. Harry will have to swim through this current to get to the next level. Will he be strong enough? Whoa, what the heck? It looks like the day's over. We better add a few glowing sea pickles. See you tomorrow. Adam built something super cool for Harry. So we have a Raspberry Pi, and then we're connecting it to these low voltage servos. And then over here we have an IR sensor. So when Harry passes in front of this sensor, the gate should magically open. So while Adam works on that, here is one, two, three huge trees. These will be perfect for a relaxing day in the jungle, our next level. The jungle is super dense with vegetation. Sometimes you can't even see out. At first, I used these green bricks, but it just didn't look right. So I bought these tiny tropical plants to make it feel like a real lush jungle. These pots are pretty lame. What about some custom Lego Minecraft pots? And some jungle vines to blend them in. Check out this Venus flytrap. This one caught a fly. And we can't forget to add a jungle temple. Hmm, what's this? And some jungle beads. And at the end, when Harry travels through, I'm turning on this mist maker. It's gonna look insane. Speaking of jungles, let's feed Lucy and Lemon. They look just like leucistic axolotls from Minecraft. In the last episode, I asked you what we should name our new rare axolotl. And the most popular name was... Lime. Welcome to the crew, Lime. While we're here, let's take a water sample. Now, let's compare it to that water sample we took earlier at the lake. This lake water is super clean, but Lucy and Lemon's tank, it's a different story. Whoa, there is so much going on in here. Imagine a microscopic Minecraft world. Since this level is covered in snow, we're gonna need heaps of white bricks. At first, I thought I could DIY it. 
I think we can do better than this. So I ordered this special igloo for over $70. Igloo 2.0, now with 100% more chill. Okay, that thing was like $3 per brick. Make sure to like this video so I can keep this up. Right out front of our igloo, we have a peaceful spot for some ice fishing. Nice. And since the snowy taiga has spruce trees and cute little mobs running around, we have to add this for Harry. How cute is this baby polar bear? What? Is that a skeleton? On skis? And we have to build an ice castle with a few turrets to protect the treasure room. Snowball fight! Our Minecraft LEGO civilization is looking insane. You'd be surprised just how heavy this acrylic is when it's all glued together. Now you can truly see just how big this is. To get to the final level, we're gonna need a portal. Another portal. Now, there's a special reason why Harry might just love this place. The nether is hot, filled with lava, fire, and bastion. This magma cube is so cute. Harry's heat lamp will keep him toasty. But what does this look like with a heat sensing camera? That heat lamp is really hot. Wow, check out my hand. So what about cold temperature? It turns blue. I love science. What's the nether without some menacing mobs and a hot tub for them to relax? And we have to build another fortress and a sneaky portal to the end. Hey, little man. After literal weeks of work, the gates are in and we're ready to go. All that's left to do is fill up our Lego Minecraft civilization. It looks incredible, but we have a problem. I added a heater so it's warm over here, but it's freezing down here. Thankfully, I have this. And a few hours later, we're back in business. Harry's food bath is a toasty 78 degrees, and he is hungry. He's suiting through the plains, his little flippers working overtime. Look at him go! Harry's swimming against the ocean current like a champ. Oh no, it looks like the sensor is delayed. Look at him wait like a tiny gentleman. And there it goes, he's through! Now we're in my favorite biome, and I'm pretty sure it's Harry's too. He's definitely mastered this sensor thing now, or he's just super hungry. He's past the sensor and approaching the nether. He's done it! He's conquered Minecraft! Way to go, little buddy! Make sure to comment for your chance to win this! See you soon!